Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a explaining video like where have I been, what happened, why haven't I been uploading for a month. So this is kind of going to be a story time-ish video. But yeah, let's just get straight on into it. Disclaimer, I am filming this video outside, so if you hear like construction or cars or birds or anything, I'm sorry. So I have not been uploading on YouTube for a month and maybe even a little bit longer, um, and I'm going to be explaining why and just everything that happened and just everything, so yeah. Okay, so this all started on December 12th, I believe. I went to the barn to ride Milo. It's going to be like a story time video. Um, explaining what happened because this will all explain why I haven't been uploading. I went to go down to get him and he, he was being frisky a little bit. Um, there was also a lesson this day, um, but I wasn't in the lesson, I was just riding for fun, you know. When I was bringing Milo up to the cross ties, he was already being a bit frisky, so it was kind of weird. He was kind of like going really fast. So all of the cross ties were taken up because of the lesson. I went into the barn because there's a set of cross ties in like the aisle area, so I went into the barn. Once I was done tacking him up, um, I got on him and I went to the dressage ring, walking around, trotting. I didn't canter in there. Um, I don't even think I cantered at all this day, like warming up cantering, I mean. Then I was going out of the ring to go on the trails, but then I saw that the group of like the lesson was going out. Okay, I'm sorry. So then I saw that the group of lesson was going, that literally made no sense. Okay, then I saw that the lesson people were coming out of the arena to go somewhere else. So then I went into the arena um, to ride because I was gonna go on the trails, but then I saw that they were going out, so I changed my mind, you know? Okay, so right when I got into the normal arena, I started trotting around right away because I already warmed him up in the dressage ring. So I started trotting him around, and again, he was being very frisky, um, and then I trotted him around, like, I think this was the first lap I trotted him. The, next to the arena, there's a pasture with mares in it, and they were kind of galloping and bucking. Milo, that got him kind of you know, crazy a little bit. He was kind of acting a little weird. Then I started trotting him around the second time. I didn't really want to do jumping this day just because he was being frisky. So I wanted to go over the trot poles. That did not end well. But pretend my, f my fingers are the poles. Here I was, I was trotting around like this and I'm like, oh, he goes really fast and I'm like, shoot, I think he's gonna cancer this. And then I was like, okay, maybe he's not. But then he did, he literally took off. He started galloping through the poles. He was bucking, galloping. So then I got bucked off. It was muddy, so I got mud like all over me. Also, I left the gate opened. So he literally bolted out of the arena and I didn't even process what just happened. Stood up off the ground and started chasing after him. And I was like, Milo. And then he kind of stopped near the gate and then he just ran off. I was like, Milo. And I ran after him. He went to the front yard, which is actually where the lesson people went. So I'm chasing Milo and the, my trainer just sees a horse bolting up to the front yard without a rider. And she told me she thought I was hanging off the side. I got up there and Milo kind of went around like a trampoline. So my trainer was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. And then I really just realized what happened. It didn't feel real at all. Like it felt like it was a dream. Like it, sorry, the sun is really bright. I was like really confused, but I just realized that I fell off. And so I was like breathing really heavy. I was like really scared, almost started crying. I have fallen off before, but it was like, a long, long, long time ago. I don't even know how old I was when I fell off the first time. I was pretty young though. Yeah, I think I was like nine or eight, I don't know. But now I'm 14 and I haven't fallen off in a long time. I went around to go get Milo, I just pet him, calmed him down. I was like, it's okay, buddy. And then I walked him over to my trainer and I was just explaining to her what happened. And she was like, like, cause the rule is when you fall, of course you have to get back on. So she was like, do you wanna get back on? I was like, sure. And she was like, well, actually, maybe we shut it out here because there was no fence. Like, they were just walking around in, like, a field of grass, basically, in her front yard. But, like, 
there was no fence like around it you know she was like maybe this isn't the best place to ride right now um how about you just go put him away and then come back to, and stay with me so i was like okay so i brought milo down i did have a headache i hit my head right when i fell also and it my head hurt like right away i went down to the barn and i was untacking milo and then i started bringing milo down to his paddock so i was bringing him down and i was actually i called my mom to tell her what just happened so after that i put him away my mom said she's gonna come get me so i went up with my trainer etc hung out with her my mom came to get me um and then the next like i thought i was fine i did have a headache but i did my mom was like we maybe thought it was a concussion, but no, like we were like, no, I don't have a concussion. So anyways, I went to school the next day. My head really hurt. I ha it was like, it's like a pressure headache. It's not like a normal headache. It's like a pressure on your head. So uh, I went to school, had a pressure headache, told my mom I have a headache. It's not a normal headache, but it hurts really bad. I've had a headache like all day when I got to school. I didn't have a headache the next morning. I just had one at school like when i got to school oh and i was taking like a test that was kind of like an eog which is like eogs are like the final exams i guess um you could say if you don't know what an eog is that's what it is it's kind of like a final exam i guess so basically it was kind of like that i guess they were just seeing where we were and i did probably terrible on it so i my mom picked me up brought me to the doctor uh, a concussion doctor I took like this little test thing and i i have a concussion i got a concussion so i have not been able to ride for three weeks now i believe it has been yeah today is wednesday it's been three weeks since i have not been able to ride i do still have a concussion right now um i'm going to the doctor in a few days to hopefully get cleared i don't know when i'll be able to ride again hopefully in a few weeks I do have a concussion while i'm filming this i won't be able to upload this until after my concussion is clear so that is why i have not been uploading that is my story time. The next few videos will be videos that I would have uploaded last year, but I couldn't, like in 2018, but I couldn't. Also, Happy New Year, everyone. I hope everyone is having a really good New Year so far. 2018, like, recap slash memories. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, I apologize for not uploading. Um, obviously, I couldn't, but I hope you guys understand, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!